What's up guys, welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So in this video, I want to talk about Tower Luna Classic, right, reaching $1. And I've told you guys this many times, with all my heart, there is huge potential for Tower Luna Classic, okay, to reach back up to that price target of $1. Let's not lie here, right? If you are in fact in this community, right, the Tower Luna Classic community, okay, if you are in fact a investor yourself, okay, in Tower Luna Classic, we all want to see, okay, Tarolin Classic reach $1, right? And for Tarolin Classic to reach $1, guys, you guys have to understand, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take some time. We have to be patient. If we want to see Tarolin Classic, right, reach $1, we will have to obviously slow down the supply. You know, we are, in fact, burning millions and billions of Tarolin Classic, right, which is obviously great news, okay? Um, and that's exactly what we need. You know what I mean? We need burns, okay? And we need to destroy Tailwind Classic tokens, right? We need to obviously drop the supply for Tailwind Classic, right? Um, and of course, you know, that means, guys, when we keep, right, burning and destroying Tailwind Classic, you know, tokens and whatnot, right? If we keep burning them and destroying them, right? And the supply slows down and it goes lower, that means the demand is there, guys, right? The demand is there and the price will, in fact, rise over time. But like I said, we need to literally burn, you know, not millions, but literally billions, even trillions, because we know that Tailwind Classic's uh, max supply is, in fact, at 6.9 trillion. That's its max supply for Tailwind Classic, right? 6.9 trillion, almost 7 trillion, guys, right? So, obviously, this is going to take some time. You guys can clearly see that Tailwind Classic is not even at a cent yet. Um, and Tailwind Classic today, guys, is, in fact, having a slight dip, nothing too crazy. It's still holding up pretty well. Okay, you guys can clearly see that. It's still at the 28 range. I believe last night when I filmed, um, you know, my most previous update on Tailwind Classic, we were in fact at 29. Today, guys, okay, tonight's currently at 28, just below 29, okay? So Tailwind Classic is in fact having a slight dip tonight, guys, okay? It's down 2%, which is not too bad, okay? It's not too shabby, but it is in fact dipping. For the past seven days, okay, you guys can clearly see that Tailwind Classic has been dropping, you know? At the beginning of this week, pretty much, we were in fact at you know, 36 range, right? You guys can clearly see that, okay? And then ever since then, we have just been on this little downtrend, right? Um, so this is completely normal, you know what I mean? Uh, but I really do believe in the next few weeks, few months, we will in fact see Tailwind Classic pump up. So I want to give you guys an update on what is exactly happening right now with the burns for Tailwind Classic. So let me give you guys an update on what's happening with the tax burns. So you guys can clearly see, right? We have so far burned... Um, almost 5 billion guys right now. It's currently at 4.5 billion Tailwind Classic tokens that we have burned so far just by the tax burns Okay, the 1.2% tax burns so far. We have almost burned 5 billion guys Okay, to be exact 4.5 billion Tailwind Classic tokens burnt just by the tax burns, which is absolutely amazing We saw this um, you know, we saw the tax burns go live, um, you know, two weeks ago. It's been over two weeks now, almost three weeks now. And we have already burned almost 5 billion Tailwind Classic tokens, right? Just by the tax burns, by the way, which is absolutely amazing. We are still in, you know, of course, the early process to this, you know what I mean? Like the tax burns literally just went live, you know, over two weeks ago now, right? So this is literally just the beginning, guys. And we have already burned, you know, billions of Tailwind Classic tokens, which is great news. Now, let me show you guys something, right? The top burners right now, this is, um, in fact, the list right now for the top burners, you know, some, you know, burns that are, in fact, happening for Tailwind Classic, okay? And as you guys can see the name, right? You guys can clearly see that the first name is Binance, okay? So, Binance right now, okay? Um, so far, they have burned over 5 billion. You guys can see that, right? 5.6 billion, okay? 5.6 billion Tailwind Classic tokens so far. Right, and we know that Binance started to support, right, the burns. Okay, they announced it about, you know, two weeks ago, right? And when they announced it, guys, this is when, right, we saw this pump up right here. You guys see this um, massive uh, green candle right here, absolutely breaking out from this uh, downtrend that we were, in fact, having us see that, right? Um, you know, that's when pretty much Binance announced that, that you know, they were, in fact, supporting you know, the tax burns, right, for Tailwind Classic. They were, in fact, supporting the burns in general for Tailwind Classic. And when they announced it, yes, guys, Tailwind Classic absolutely pumped up. You guys can clearly see that, right? Um, and this this did, in fact, happen just last month, the 26th of September, to be exact, 
Um, and it was, in fact, you know, Teldon Classic at that time when this pump happened, this was, in fact, a 60 to 70% pump, right, in just a matter of three to four hours, which is absolutely amazing to see, guys, right? So, yeah, you guys clearly see that Teldon, uh, sorry, you guys clearly see that Binance, okay, is, in fact, okay, the biggest burner right now for, you know, the Teldon Classic burns, right? They have burned over 5 billion, almost 6 billion Teldon Classic tokens. And of course, you guys can see number two, okay, it's the 1.2% uh, burn tax, right? And like I said, guys, we were in fact at 4.5 billion, just like what I show you guys right here, okay? So yes, you know, the top burners, okay, are in fact Binance, okay? It is in fact the 1.2%, you know, burn tax, the Lunatics token and whatnot, right? And you guys can clearly see some other um, crypto exchanges like KuCoin, right? KuCoin, they also support you know, the tax burns um, and the burns in general for Tailwind Classic, you guys can clearly see that. So this is obviously um, great to see, you know what I mean? So yes, guys, every single day, we are in fact burning, you know, millions of Tailwind Classic tokens. And this is exactly what we need, right? Like I told you guys as many times, we need to slow down the supply right here, okay? 6.9 trillion, that's the max supply for Tailwind Classic. We need to slow that down, okay? We need to burn and destroy a whole bunch. And I'm talking not millions, but billions of Telling Classic tokens, guys, right? To see Telling Classic at, you know, a few cents, you know, even at a dollar, a few cents, and of course, one dollar, right? And I'm telling you this right now, Telling Classic will eventually reach one dollar. It's all about patience, guys, okay? Think long-term, okay? This is not financial advice, guys, at all, but think long-term with your investments in Telling Classic, okay? I believe with personally right with my own heart i truly do believe that tailwind classic has a really high chance of reaching back to one dollar you know what i mean i do see that happening guys okay i really do right we are in fact you know officially burning millions of Telling classic tokens you know what i mean the largest crypto exchange out there binance right um is in fact supporting the burns now for tailwind classic that was obviously some great news some big you know, positive major news right there. And that's why we saw, you know, this pump up for Telling Classic right here. So you guys can clearly see that Telling Classic is in fact, you know, still holding up pretty well ever since we had um, this pump up, right? We've been having the support, right? Pretty much, you know what I mean? So Telling Classic is still holding up pretty well, guys. We haven't seen a massive dump yet. Um, I don't think we will in fact see a dump, you know, Telling Classic was in fact at around the 18 range, right? sorry 19 range right and then it completely just broke out do i see telling classic reaching back down to this price target of 19 maybe right maybe who realistically really knows but so far guys you, click, you know you guys can clearly see that we are still holding up pretty well you know what i mean telling classic is still holding up pretty well um ever since we had this pop up so you guys can clearly see we are in fact having this little support level right now for Tailwind Classic for the past, you know, few, it's been like over a week now, right? So that being said, guys, um, yes, Tailwind Classic today, it is in fact having a slight dip, but it's still holding up pretty well, okay? And I do see huge potential for the future for Tailwind Classic, okay? You guys let me know in the comments down below, what are your thoughts right now for Tailwind Classic reaching $1? Okay, listen, guys, personally, I told you guys as many times, for Tailwind Classic to reach $1, okay, like I said at the beginning of this video, it's going to take some time. It's not going to happen overnight. My opinion, okay, the year, maybe, you know, 2025 earliest, right? Maybe even 2026, 2027, somewhere around there. Okay, a few years down the road. That is when, guys, we will in fact see Tableau in the Classic reach at least $1, at least. Okay, at least. So, that being said, guys, um, we will, in fact, see what's going to happen with Tailwind Classic in the next few months and, of course, few years. I will obviously keep you guys updated, but Tailwind Classic, okay, yes, okay, in some way, way, in somewhat way, it is, in fact, boring, okay, but it's still holding up pretty well, you know. This is what we want to see, guys, right? At least Tailwind Classic is not dropping, and if, hey, if it drops, honestly, that's a good thing. That means, guys, what does that mean? Why is it good? Why am I saying it's good? It's because, guys, it's a buying opportunity, okay? If you see Telling Classic dip, buy, okay? Not financial advice, always do your own research. But, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Please give this video a huge thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to the channel. If you guys have not yet already, I really would appreciate that. Let's get to 3,000 subscribers. And I'll catch you guys all in my next video. Peace.